Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for March 10th, 2021. Well, yesterday, those bulls really went back to work, and particularly in the NASDAQ, there was a surge in big tech yesterday. But there are still some questions yet to be answered. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our office chairs, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video and see if we can decide how we want to approach this market for today. Well, I hope everyone had a great day yesterday. I actually took the afternoon off, um, really enjoyed myself. We had a very warm day here. Wife and I um, took off and just played in the afternoon. So um, I'm feeling awful refreshed, uh, very refreshed this morning. Um, and looking at the market, felt pretty good about the way things turned out on the day. We briefly touched a new record high yesterday in the Dow as we pushed on up. But unfortunately, we saw those bears come back in. Well, I shouldn't say bears. We saw profit takers come back in, pushing us back down just below that new record high, um, leaving some question here in the market and leaving behind a couple of shooting star type patterns here on the Dow. However, this morning, those bulls are trying to re-engage, pushing back up ahead of some economic data today, and we'll talk about that in just a second. So they're trying to push this back up and uh, regain that confidence here in the market. But we do have a little bit of a mix here this morning in the U.S. futures. And we seem to be suffering with a lack of momentum kind of around the country. Asia markets had a really good move yesterday um, during the night, but then those sellers came in at the end of the day, closing things um, with modest gains or losses um, in their um, markets. And European markets seem to be struggling a little bit with that bullish recovery momentum this morning. So let's keep a close eye on this today. And remember that we don't want to chase that morning open, particularly when we're testing new record highs here. We could easily see a pop and drop occur in the market. Let's take a look here at our SPY. And our SPY and our QQQ still have the most insignificance of questions that yet to be answered. If we draw that trend line up here, we can see that we did break down uh, from that trend or break that trend. And although we've been rallying significantly, notice that we ended up today with kind of an indecisive candle here. And we were challenged by this price resistance. Now I'd marked that out yesterday in the chart, that that's gonna be a critical point for us to break through. If um, we also draw this downtrend in the chart, notice that that came into play as well. So both of these levels kind of challenged that price action yesterday in the SPY. And unfortunately, we ended up pulling back below both of those at the end of the day. Once again, futures are trying to push this just a little bit higher this morning, trying to put on that brave face ahead of some economic data. But let's watch, just watch that closely and keep in mind that resistance is going to be important. We need to breach through that, break above that. Now, I don't want to rule out the possibility that we could struggle right in this area, which means we might, it is entirely possible that the, those bulls remain strong enough, and this would be the bullish case, I think, if we just consolidate right in here, if we just rest here for just a bit. Let's notice this little pattern that we show. Here's a shoulder, here's a head, and we could also form a shoulder on that side. That could be a little inverted head and shoulders pattern, either with a, a little pullback or consolidation. I understand that any kind of a pullback would certainly put some worry into the market, but let's watch for that potential there closely. Then if we take a look at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ has probably got the biggest concern um, here in the market. Um, certainly we have rallied back substantially and yesterday was a huge move in the NASDAQ, but let's take note that we are still challenged. Uh, by the end of the day, we were challenged by that price resistance level in the chart. And keep in mind that we still have this head and shoulders 
pattern in play here and a downtrend that we have yet to break above. Let's also keep in mind that we would have to um, rally another full 10 points just to challenge the 50 day moving average here in the NASDAQ, which is going to be up here in this area. We'll look at that in just a second. So we still have some significant questions yet to be answered here in the NASDAQ. I wouldn't want to venture to say we could sound the all clear here. As a matter of fact, if those bears found a reason to re-engage here, you could certainly see the possibility of a failure at this point and a retest of lows or even a possible new low coming here into the NASDAQ. So watch that closely. One of the things I want to um, continue to mention is be very, very careful about chasing stocks into resistance of the markets. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM is also holding up quite well with the Dow, but there is some question here still in this chart. Let's notice if we draw a downtrend right here. We finished the day, notice we tried to push above that, and by the end of the day, we pulled right back below that little downtrend. We're also challenged right here by this price resistance right across there challenged and so we've got kind of that double whammy of resistance in there now we're doing a lot better here on iwm we've held support levels we held above our 50-day moving average so we're in much better condition here but we still have that little question yet to be answered can we push on through um, that level um, Perhaps we may get that answer today, we'll see. If we happen to fail at that level, that will bring in some concern um, here in the market and will increase the technical damage in the chart, particularly if it doesn't hold uh, lows. If we break down through those lows, then we really have a problem here um, in IWM. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX did a pretty good job yesterday of pulling back, but unfortunately we didn't hold on to all of that pullback and we still have this little support level showing up here in this trend. So we're going to want to watch that kind of closely and just keep in mind that we're still relatively elevated. When we're thinking about what we're pushing out for new record highs in the Dow and things like that, we really shouldn't be seeing 24, 25 handles in the VIX. That's an odd situation. And it means that we have a lot of danger in this market that we still have to deal with. Those big whipsaws, those big overnight reversals are still possible. So let's keep a close eye on that. Remember, if we were to find some reason, let's say a bond auction that goes bad today, um, for those bears to be re-energized, a bounce off of here could be a problem. That would mean our markets are sinking and um, fear could really come into the market quickly. So watch that closely. Then let's take a look at T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. Well, clearly the little pullback at the end of the day helped out a lot. But earlier in the day, we were pushed clear up here. We were pushed clear up here into that bearish reversal zone. We went from oversold to overbought in a very quick move um, in the market. Now we're challenged up here to see whether or not we can get enough of that bullish momentum to continue to carry this on through. Now, anything is possible here. T2122 doesn't tell us the day, the time when things could shift. It's just a warning. It's a warning that we have to pay attention to that possibility that if we can, if, if the bears find something to grab a hold of here today, um, that we could see them re-engage and enforce some of those resistance levels that I pointed out in the charts. So let's watch that closely. We also have that possibility if we can gain some kind of bullish energy in the market that we could, uh, we've opened up that upside opportunity where we could continue to push up for a little bit. So watch that closely. Just realize that we have a big open area to the downside that we could still sink back into 
if um, we run into a few problems. Let's take a look at T2101. It, this is uh, the absolute market breadth. Notice that yesterday, even as we rallied really, really strongly, our market breadth didn't really improve. Um, we are still running in this downtrend in market breadth and we just not gaining a whole lot of energy here. So this bounce back is still in question and we're going to have to be a little bit careful there and watch that closely. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see a selling wave, a selling wave that would bring in more market breadth, meaning that we gain energy into the selling. That's what we don't want to see. So watch that closely. Well, of course, unless you're a bear and you're on the short side of the market, then that is exactly what you want to see um, in these charts. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. Um, our economic calendar does have some things that we're going to want to pay attention to. We've had kind of a light week so far. But this morning we're going to get the before the bell we're going to get the latest reading on cpi um, estimates are that we will see that increase just a little bit so keep an eye on that cpi number that could help in bolding embolden those um, bulls this morning um, if the bulls can gain some energy from that we might push up just a little bit more keep an eye on the petroleum status we know oil the oil situation has been very very important um, in helping that um, Russell index continue to rally. We'll want to watch that closely. A surprise build in supplies might dampen some of that energy on that oil sector. A, supply, a surprise in uh, decline in supply in um, our strategic supplies could actually embolden those bulls to push even harder. So watch that closely. And then I think this is going to be important today. We have that 10-year auction, that 10-year note auction. It was the last 10-year note auction that created this big concern and interest rates. We went into a 10-year auction and there were crickets. No one wanted to buy the 10-year. And they had to start raising the rates on the 10-year to get, uh, get any purchases happening. Let's keep an eye on that today. If around uh, 1 p.m. Eastern today, we start to see some of these bond rates rising, that could be a problem. On the other hand, if they've got their act together and those 10 years sell pretty well, we might actually see those bond yields soften just a little bit. So keep a close eye on that. And then tomorrow we also have a 30-year bond auction at 1 p.m. that we might want to keep an eye on. Um, we get the Treasury statement at 2 p.m. and I doubt, I doubt that um, has any effect on the market at all. Let's take a look at the earnings calendar. We have about a hundred, just short of a hundred companies reporting today that are on the calendar. Um, and let's take a look at a few of those that um, uh, may be reporting today um, that I've pulled out for some notables. Um, we've seen a, a big interest coming into anything in um, green energies. Ballard Power is one that enjoyed quite a rally after uh, the presidential election. Um, now it's pulled back significantly. And let's keep an eye on this as Ballard Power reports today. It might be kind of an interesting chart to pay attention to. Um, AMC, um, the um, heavily shorted and heavily manipulated by the Reddit community, um, AMC, will be reporting today. Let's keep an eye on this. You can see we've been running in this trend um, back to the upside, so keep an eye on that chart today. Uh, CPB, Campbell Soup, one of these old defensive sector companies, um, been struggling, struggling, struggling here for a long time in a range. Um, not looking so good this morning, but we might want to keep an eye on that earnings report as it comes out. Um, how about um, SUMO will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Been drawing down here. This is a relatively new issue, as you can see. Um, really surged up hard, now pushing down, holding some support um, at the moment. It'll be an important um, earnings report for that one to see how that one um, performs from here on out. Um, we will also hear from Tupperware. Tup will be reporting today. So keep an eye on that. Looks like they have disappointed the market here this morning in that pre-market candle. Um, 
guys, if you want to get the full list of stocks that um, I have pulled out as potential notables, um, click the link just below the title of this video that will take you back to the morning blog and you can get that entire list. But for now, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for the day. But just before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, um, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel like this video was worthy, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment. It helps uh, the channel to continue to grow. And remember, if, if you're not a member of Hit Run Candlesticks or Right Way Options and want to support this kind of content um, on the channel, there is a link below the title of the video down there where you can buy me a coffee and all of that money gets used to help me enhance the channel, uh, buy new equipment and things like that. So if, um, there's no obligation to do so, but feel free if you feel like you got something out of this video today. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And before we do that, I just want to mention to everyone, these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, make sure that you're following your own due diligence, that you're following your trading plan, and you never want to blindly follow anyone's trades. Let's take a look. I mentioned Starbucks yesterday, and Starbucks continues to look good, albeit it pulled back just a little bit yesterday. Now I'm going to change this chart. As you can see, I've placed a price alert here on Starbucks, but I'm not in a particular rush to buy it just yet. And the reason is, is this trend. I think there is still that possibility that Starbucks could drift its way out here toward the trend or even pull back to test that trend. So I want to watch this closely, but I'm just not quite ready to be a buyer in this just yet as this pattern continues to develop, to develop, but keep a close eye on it. Starbucks is definitely looking bullish and it could easily take off early if we can get enough energy um, in the market here. So watch that close. Tried to go yesterday, but just kind of ended up pulling back. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at Disney. Now, Disney reported that they have a hundred million subscribers already on, on Disney. And this has been a beautiful little chart popping up. You can see I had an alert in here, but it gapped away and surged. So I don't chase a move like that. What I wanted to see is it rest or pull back. And that's exactly what's happening here. Um, Disney pulling back um, into that little support. Let's watch and see if that can kind of slide out here toward the trend. However, that news today with 100 million subscribers may actually bring in those bulls a little bit earlier, but I would really prefer if I could pick up a position in Disney in this range in here. So watch that close. Um, Disney's looking pretty good overall. I do think we have to keep an eye on um, some of these oil sector stocks. Um, take a look at Rig. This is an oil. This is a driller. Um, Rig has been holding up very, very well. You can see we're challenged by this price resistance in the chart, but we're still looking pretty darn good here. And notice that we're really not getting any heavy selling. Um, we're just kind of testing and resting in this little area. If we can pull back to this trend or slide over toward this trend, we may get enough energy to see that push on through. So keep an eye on that. This could also be affected by that um, um, petroleum status today. So just keep an eye to it, but looking pretty good here overall as a chart. Um, as you guys know, I am holding Ford, so I have a bias on Ford. Ford continues to, to push on to the upside. I'm gonna push this over to a weekly chart and just show you how um, nice a pattern that is on that longer term. And right now I have the 14 strike sold short against this just as a hedge on the trade. I would expect a little, a little rest or pullback to occur in this at any time, but keep an eye on that chart. It's looking pretty good overall. There was some news that GE may be selling some of its assets here and GE has definitely been in a bullish move here on the chart. Let's keep an eye on that. You can see it's 
trying to push up here this morning. That's the pre-market candle, but pulling back. I would watch this chart. We're definitely in a bullish pattern. A resting consolidation through here is something I would want to pay attention to and then see if that can push on through. A couple charts I want to also make mention of um, that are just starting to come around. Now, I don't want to suggest that you just jump into these, but AT&T um, breaking this little downtrend, we had an amazing surge here. When the market got worried, there was a rush into some of these big dividend paying stocks. Keep an eye here on AT&T. It's broken this little downtrend and now we're resting and pulling back to see if we're gonna hold as support. If the market does get a little bit spooky here, we could see these stocks continue to rally. So keep an eye on AT&T. These big DB payers are starting to play out pretty well. Watch that closely. I think it would also be a good idea to keep an eye on Intel. Now, Intel surged big yesterday and is resting right here underneath a price resistance in the chart. Just resting right there. So if this can hold in this area, if we can hold through here or if we can push out and hold, there may be some opportunity here in Intel. Uh, breaking back above some significant resistance, kind of holding in a rather choppy range. If, um, if we don't see a major tech sell-off, um, Intel might be one of those stocks coming back that can give us some nice upside moves. So keep an eye on that. Also in that sector, um, keep an eye on Cisco. Now Cisco is one of those that has been underloved this year uh, for sure. And just keep in mind that there's not a, all these uh, web meetings and everything that, that happens today. It really wouldn't be happening without the Cisco technology. Um, keep an eye on this. You can see recently we just surged right up through this downtrend. Surged through that downtrend. We've been bouncing around here holding that as support. And just recently when the market was selling off, Cisco held off or held on pretty strongly and then really surged here the last couple of days. Watch this little pattern in here. If this can hold a uh, rest out here sideways or pull back and hold a higher low, we may then engage an upside trend here in Cisco. Keep a close eye on it. Maybe a chart to watch and maybe one of those texts that could hold up um, because it hasn't been overbaked here. Um, uh, you know, pulling back uh, while everything else was just racing to the upside. So watch that close. So with that, that everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. I truly, truly appreciate everyone who um, sticks around, who, who watches, who subscribes. You guys are awesome. And a big shout out to those um, who have purchased that Buy Me a Coffee and supporting the channel. You guys, thank you so much. You guys are great. Um, I will be right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Take care, be safe, and we will see you in the next Morning Market video.